In this video, I'm gonna show you some simple steps how to color grade your GoPro footage just like that. It's gonna be so easy, it's gonna blow your mind. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Vic Barry. I work as a creative video director and editor, and this channel is all about helping you make better content and make better decisions when it comes to cameras and all things tech. So, before we get going and get some orange and teal GoPro footage rocking your mind and your world and everybody else is gonna watch your footage, whew, take a breath. There's a couple of things that you need to do. There's one big step that you need to do when you wanna make your GoPro footage a little bit kind of better, and that is you need to shoot it flat. If you're shooting your GoPro footage in the GoPro Hero 8 Black, then you need to start editing one of the presets or creating a new preset, and you need to ensure that the color is not GoPro, but in fact, it's actually flat. If you're on something like a GoPro Hero 7 Black, then then you need to make sure ProTune is turned on and then you need to edit again the preferences and basically have a flat color profile and that gives you a bit more of a washed out image and so on and so forth. I'll explain momentarily. And as you're gonna see quickly, we're gonna make your flat GoPro footage look pretty damn cool. So let's get into Adobe Premiere. My Adobe Premiere is probably set up a little bit different to your Adobe Premiere. I've got my Lumetri scopes here. I've got my Lumetri color panel here. If for some reason you can't find these panels anywhere, just select window and make sure Lumetri color and Lumetri scopes are ticked. Once you've got that done, you're good to go. Now, I'm not gonna edit the colors on these clips directly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna select new adjustment layer. And I'm going to drag it over here. And the reason for this is that we're keeping the original clip intact. There is absolutely nothing wrong with working on the original clip, but if you screw up, this is a little bit easier to fix. So we're going to work on the adjustment layer, which is going to affect everything underneath it. And I'm going to jump into my Lumetri scopes. And as this is flat, has been shot flat, and the GoPro profile is flat, 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 we can see that we've got a little bit of room in the highlights and we've got a little bit of room here in the shadow. So I'm gonna do a quick correction on this and then we will start getting that orange and teal look into this flat GoPro footage. So I am gonna drag down my shadows a little bit. I'm gonna start bringing my blacks down. I don't wanna crush them completely. And once you kind of get down here and things are starting to hit the bottom line, they're getting crushed. And you can see they're all gonna kind of just bottom out. And if we drag everything down, you can see, that's not nice. That kind of looks okay to my eye. I'm gonna take a look at the highlights. I'm gonna bring those down slightly. And we're gonna leave the white balance until last and I will show you why in a minute. So I've kind of got a look here that I'm happy enough with. If we look at the original footage by hitting the effects button up the top here in the panel, we can see, okay, we have made a difference. Now, let's get this teal and orange, orange and teal vibe going. We're gonna do this in the curves section. We're gonna start with hue versus hue. So what we wanna do is we wanna select a blue and then we wanna push that a little bit more teal. While we can't eyeball that, and kind of do something like this. It's not that accurate. So what I'm gonna do is select the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna pick a blue here. And now we've got a far more accurate range to work with and I'm just gonna push this little center dot up and we can see, ooh, it's teal. Not too much, just enough. And we're gonna more or less do the exact same with the kind of the browns and the yellow so we can bring those ones a little bit more orange. So I'm gonna hit the eyedropper tool, I'm gonna kind of go here and now we can see that we can make everything a little bit crazy. But I'm gonna just push these to a little bit more orange. Not a lot, just enough. And we can see, okay, we've made a little bit of difference, but do we need to kind of saturate just those oranges a little bit more? So I'm gonna select our eyedropper tool and hue versus saturation, which means we can saturate the hue a little bit more. So I'm gonna go back up here and now I'm gonna make this just a, a little bit more saturated. And again, if we turn on and off with the before and after, we can see we've got something that's a little bit more cinematic color looking. All right, so let's jump back to our basic correction. That's all I'm gonna do here in the hue saturation. Let's jump back to our basic correction and let's take a look at the white balance, which really does help with your orange and teal look. We can push this a little bit warmer or we can make it colder, which is really rushing away from orange and teal. So let's bring this up a little bit warmer. Not a lot, only just kind of 14, just a schmidge, which is a very Irish word, schmidge. And now we're kind of at a place where we're going, wow, okay, I like this. From before to after. Again, as you can see, the movements that I've made, with the exception of the shadows and stuff, it's very, very subtle. Not over the top, not in your face, subtle enough where people go, 
Jeez, is that really GoPro? However, if you have another clip like I have here and here, you would think, okay, let's just copy and paste the Lumetri settings right in here and then we're gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Not necessarily. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just duplicate this adjustment player by keeping all press while I'm dragging it. And let's go over here and we go, ooh, okay, hang on. It looks so cool there and what's happened? Like the hair is like super orange. So let's just drag this out so it's in the full clip. So we need to jump back in here and we don't have to make a lot of adjustments. We just have to make a couple of subtle adjustments. So I'm gonna go back into curves. I'm gonna bring down the saturation on the oranges so we can see, okay, it's a little bit more normal as it were. So again, before, after. So we can see we've got that tea. We've got that kind of little bit more orange and that clip is more or less good to go. It doesn't need a little bit more contrast possibly so we can drag up the contrast if needs be and then in our final clip let's duplicate our last lumetri settings and we go okay that's kind of that kind of works checking out here we can see we're a little bit oversaturated on the reds we can bring that down if needs be but i think yeah you know what that kind of looks okay let's bring it down slightly just so we're kind of inside there and then again we haven't got enough orange in this possibly, so maybe let's push this a little bit warmer and we can go before and after and see, okay, wow. Now there is one last thing, right? There is one last thing that we can do to make this super, super cinematic, those black bars. So we can do this a couple of different ways. You can download a PNG. We can do it directly on the clip, which in this case is what I'm going to do on the adjustment layer so I'm going to select effects you can type in crop I'm going to drag crop on here then we go back to effect controls and we're going to do our top at 12% we're going to do our bottom at 12% and boom look at that epic and we can just copy that crop over here and see how that looks and you're like okay that's not too bad but what's going on so we need to adjust our position slightly to make it look a little bit better from a framing perspective. And that's it. How easy was that? I nearly blew my head off. See, that is so easy. Anybody, anybody can do that. Don't be afraid of getting in and just having a go, right? That's the most important thing. Get in and have a go. That's some color correction. What's the worst that's going to happen? Use an adjustment. You're not going to destroy your footage, okay? You're not going to destroy it. Now, if you found all that a bit, oh, that's such a pain in the neck. I don't want to do that every time then I've got a lot for you guys. It's a free lot. There's an option in the link in the description to donate something if you want to give a dollar, if you find it useful, great. If you don't, whatever. Take the lot, download it, and see how you get on with it. But keep in mind, one lot does not fit all. There's so many different lot packs out there, and you go, why doesn't my footage look like Peter McKinnon's or Maddie's or whoever? And you're like, I don't know. I just, I, I just I put it in, and it doesn't work. They need a bit of work, so every lot it's not a one size fits all as i've said so the lot that i'm giving you guys for free or help me fund my gopro hero 8 you need to have a little bit of a fiddle you need to move things around as i have shown you in these examples and then you can get somewhere where you want lots are great they're good if you're in a rush but you can't be digging in yourself and developing your own creative style Anyway, my name is Vic Barry. Thank you so much for watching. If, if, by the way, if, 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 if you have found this video any way useful, okay? If you're like, oh God, I kind of learned something. I learned, they learned something, right? Yeah, mine's <coughs> If you've learned something from this, if you found this video valuable in any way, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Or hitting the like button or drop me a comment and uh, let me know how you get on. If you get stuck, I'm here to help. So ping me up in a comment and go, I don't know what to do. And and we will we will help. I Yeah, all right. Anyway, that's it. We will see you in the next episode of the vlog. And until then, as we always say, don't stop fighting for yourself. <laughs> like sound effect. <laughs> no? No, okay. It's the other guy, right? Yeah. The McKenna does those. He does them better, I think. I've got pew pew pew. They know there's nobody there too, right?